Hello and welcome. My name is Stefan Czech. I'm a German DOP, Steadicam operator and filmmaker. And because of the huge success of the three axis brushless gimbals and the big hype around this camera stabilizing system, I want to compare the DJI Ronin versus the Devin Graham Signature Edition from Glidecam, based on the uh, 30 years old Steadicam system. I want to compare how you build up the system, how you work with the system, and we want to look on the specific pros and cons to use this kind of camera stabilizing systems. The DJI Ronin came in a big box with a gimbal, a handlebar, remote control, a stand, charger and a battery and a lot of accessories to build the camera on the system. After finding the center of gravity of uh, your camera setup, put on the uh, camera plate and prepare the Ronin to attach the camera to this. The maximum width of the camera you can use with the Ronin is 19.5 cm. So the C500 fits in there because there is no side grip, but we can't attach the monitor on this. On the C100, the smallest cinema camera from Canon, I can't leave the hand grip on the body. So I have to detach the grip from the camera body. Now I bring the center of gravity right in the middle of the two bars to uh, adjust the tilt axis. Uh, left and right for the roll axis. To adjust the vertical tilt axis, you try to bring it in a neutral position and you have to balancing the pan axis over the two knobs on the back side of the Ronin. Before you fire up your Ronin, you have to check all the adjustments in the software. Take some time, take some lessons in YouTube and find a good tutorial how to adjust properly your software of the Ronin. Don't expect to get an automatic calibration that works with your camera setup. And this is crucial. The software of the Ronin is the main part of the operation. Keep in mind, this is the most important part of the system. Let's go to the Glidecam. The David Graham Signature Edition comes with everything you need. I made an in-depth review of this piece of equipment so you can take a closer look what's all in the box. After mounting the camera plate on the camera and finding out where the center of gravity is, slide the camera on the top of the glide cam and bring the center of gravity right over the center post. And because of no limitation of the size of the camera, you can reattach the grip on the C100. But now let's come back to my absolute favorite, the new gimbal. Without any tools, you can make it loose with a twist and adjust it uh, right on your center post to find the right drop time. Especially the drop time is crucial. Here is the major tip. Bring your system into a neutral balance and then push the gimbal one and a half centimeter in the direction of the camera. And now you have a perfectly drop time. But not only the heavy camera like the C500 or the Red Epic are interesting on this. If you work with smaller cameras, you have another problem. They are too light and the drop time too fast. Uh, in this case, you also use the adjustable gimbal, bring it a little bit more to the bottom place and now you have your drop time between one and a half and two seconds. A little bit adjustment over the knobs and in second, your system is ready to fly. But now let's come to the fun part, the operationing. The DJI Ronin is made for traveling the camera around. You're holding the system on the handlebars in front of you and you can achieve such a tracking shot really easy around some nice motifs, like here the old car in the classic Stadt. 
Frankfurt. And as you see here, most of the time you hold the Ronin right in front of your belly. In this single operation mode, you have to think a little bit in advance because you're pointing your camera via moving the handlebar and you have the handlebar to move before the camera moves. So the camera has a slightly delay of your movement. The same when you go up the stairs, you have to find the right point to tilt the handlebars forward to bring the camera down to your motive. But to be honest with you, there's only one way to work professional with a three axis brushless gimbal. And this is like to fly a drone. You need two persons. I call it the donkey mode. So one operator carrying the Ronin around the motive and the other operator is the camera operator with a remote control. He controls the movement of the camera on the Ronin. But what you see here is guessing. Yes, it's guessing what the camera might filming. And as you see here, this is far, far away from professional framing. This is nothing more than amateur stuff. To work professional with this, you need a wireless video transmission from the camera to the camera operator. With this, the operator had uh, exact the vision of the camera. And this is, in my eyes, the only professional way to work with this kind of camera stabilizing systems. But now it's time to take a closer look to the David Graham Signature Edition from Glidecam. This system is really small and slim. So you can go through crowds and you can move it really easy with the camera on the top. It's not a big deal to hold this system in the height of the eye line of the people. And of course you can move it around and all the movement of the Glidecam are really natural. It's not so like a computer game, it's more fluid. And you have 100% control over the movement, if it's slow or if it's fast. And the right speed is most of the time key for the camera movement in the shots. And even with bigger cameras like the C500, fully rigged with the monitor, you can achieve really nice, smooth surrounding shots. The typical shots for this kind of stabilizing systems. Another really interesting angle is the low mode. For this, grab the Roni on the top handle with one hand and now you can bring the camera really close to the ground. And this gives your shot much more dramatic, especially when you start on the ground and booming a little bit up in the shot. The another reason for the adjustable gimbal is to quick change from normal mode to low mode. In this case, go the other way around, bring the system in neutral balance, then the gimbal one and a half centimeter lower, so in the direction of the weight, and your system is ready for low mode. Eventually you have to readjust a little bit over the knobs, the fore and back or side to side. Eventually when you have a flip up display and as you see here on the shot I start very low and came up with the camera. And as always the timing is key to make a good shot. I was lucky enough to use the new DGS from Glidecam for the new short film project Hensel, shot in Germany. I use the low mode capability of the system to bring more tension to these shots. This tracking shot to the wood becomes much more uh, intense with the low mode. But there are some other interesting points, especially for this typical run and gun shooter. I hope in this case you always have an assistant that carrying the stance with you because the stance is crucial for the operation or for the work with the Ronin. You can't lay the system down on the ground. You always have to put it back in the secure stand. On the glide cam, you carry around a kind of monopod with you. 
So it's not a problem to put this on, on some tree, some wood or on the ground. And if you are carefully, you can even point the camera on a nice motif and let it loose. But be careful. And when you want walk around, put it on the shoulder. And this is not a problem even with a bigger camera. The Ronin weights 4.2 kilo without any camera. And so for this it's good to hold it with two hands. But on the other side you have no hand free to manipulate the camera. For instance to adjust the ND filter on the run. And because of the ergonomics of this Ronin it's hard to hold the camera right in front of your eyes. So you have to bring the, the hands over your shoulder. I know you can work in the upright position, but on the other side the glide cam had the camera in the upright position right in front of your head and so the typical headshots of a person is much more easier to achieve. But of course, like all the handheld stabilizer from Glidecam, you can use the arm and west support like the Smooth Shooter or here in this case the X10. With this extension it is much more easier to carry around, especially the heavier cameras. And the beauty of this is you can switch in seconds from the X10 to handheld and back. And of course the low mode is possible on the west also. Bring the gimbal a little bit up and you can achieve a longer low mode. And of course there are West support systems out there for the Ronin also. The Easy Rig and the Slingshot from Walter Klaassen. But it only supports the operator to carrying the weight. As is no support for the camera movement. So the 3-axis gimbal can't eliminate uh, the unintended up and down. But the flexible arm of the Glidecam system is able to compensate the up and down movement while you're walking. That's why I prefer the Glidecam with the West support to shooting a scene like this. But let's see what we can do with the Ronin. So this is a magical shot. It's a, it's a camera hand over to another operator and it gives this special feeling. So you see I hand over the camera on the Ronin to another operator and we get the illusion of a free fly. Yes, it's a word play. Because Freefly is the company that invented the movie in 2013 coming from a drone stabilizing system and they built the first handheld 3-axis brushless gimbal for the operator. And I know there is a big hype at the moment about this 3-axis gimbal systems and everybody wants to use it in their production. But keep in mind you have to master the things like every piece of equipment you have in your toolbox. You have to know how to balance it right, how to manipulate the software. Don't expect to bring the systems to work in five minutes like the advertising on the homepage of DJI. That might be work if you have a one system, one camera setup and never change anything. What kind of camera you want to put on this? Not all cameras uh, from the sizes fits into the Ronin. But beside all the technical stuff, there is the look. We have a different look when we generate this shot with a Ronin. It's more technical, it's look more artificial. And on the other side we have this really organic fluid with the glide cam. So this is shot with an HD 4000 on a live stage and there is no software I have to adjust before if I want to move slow or fast. I decided in the moment with my fingertips 
and this looks more organic, more natural. This is a leading shot. I'm running in front of the actor and shooting backwards. This is also a camera movement. It's hard to achieve with the Ronin, for instance. At the end, I hope you enjoy the comparison between these both camera stabilizing systems. And because of the hype of the Ronin and all the three axis brushless gimbals, you might get the idea that this is the dead of the glide cam systems. But I think I can show that this is not the case. If you like this kind of presentation, please visit my website or my channel in YouTube or Vimeo and take a look on the in-depth review of the Glidecam David Graham Signature Edition. In this, I will show how you balance the system and give some advanced tips and tricks how to manage this really nice piece of equipment. And don't forget, go out and shoot. Try it, master your tools and become a better filmmaker. With this and best regards, your Stefan Czech.